Thank you for choosing Waterdrop under Sync G3P800. Reverse Osmosis Filtration System. Waterdrop G3P800 Reverse Osmosis Filtration System is designed for DIY installation. Please refer to the following instruction. Now you shall pause for a moment to have a look at sample connection. These are required tools for installation. Let's start with installing the feed water adapter. We have already connected the input water tubing with the feed water adapter for a smooth and easy installation. Firstly, shut off the water supply and turn on the kitchen faucet to release the water pressure. Then, disconnect the cold water pipe from the cold water supply valve. Twist the feed water adapter onto the cold water supply valve with its washer and tighten it with an adjustable wrench. If your cold water pipe is one half inch, you need to unscrew the two converters from the feed water adapter firstly, and then twist the feed water adapter onto the cold water supply valve. At last, twist the cold water pipe with its washer onto the feed water adapter and tighten with an adjustable wrench. Step 2. You need to install the RO faucet and UV sterilizer. Firstly, insert the faucet spout into faucet body, then insert the faucet stem power cord and filtered water tubing into the hole on countertop. Under the sink, slip on the nut and tighten it up. Next, tear off the protective film of the faucet. Cut the pre-installed PE tubing at the adequate length in terms of the installation position of UV sterilizer, and connect it with UV sterilizer port. Pop up the lock clip to on both upper and bottom port. Step 3. Let's install the drain saddle. Firstly. Drill a 1 quarter inch hole in the drain pipe. Please don't penetrate the opposite side of the pipe. Secondly, slip the front plate on one end of the tubing without a mark and insert the tubing into the drilled hole for about 0.6 inch. Thirdly, position the back plate on the drain pipe by tightening the screws and nuts evenly while leaving the tubing in the hole. At last, pop the lock clip on the fitting to secure the connection. Step 4. Let's position the RO system housing. Before you position the system, check and ensure there is sufficient space under the countertop to install the system. Next, position the front panel facing toward you, which will be convenient for future replacement and indicator checking. We don't recommend you to place the housing against the cabinet, as there may be vibrations when the system works. Step 5. You should connect all the tubing. Let's start with installing the input water tubing. Firstly, remove the plug from input water port and identify the white 3 8 inch tubing, which has been attached to the feed water adapter. Secondly, insert the other end of the tubing into the input water port and then pop the lock clip on the fitting. Then you need to install the filtered water tubing. Firstly, remove the plug from the filtered water port and identify the white 1 quarter PE tubing. Secondly, insert the another end of the tubing into the filtered water port and pop the lock clip on the fitting. In the end, you need to install the waste water tubing. Firstly, remove the plug from the waste water port and identify the red 1 quarter inch PE tubing, which has been attached to the drain saddle. At last, Insert the other end of the tubing into the waste water port and then pop the lock clip onto the fitting. After connection, please make sure all the tubing are fully inserted until you reach the mark on the tubing. Step 6. Let's connect the power cord. Let's start with connecting the RO faucet to the system. Firstly, insert the power cord, which is attached to the RO faucet, into the faucet connector. Then tighten the nut. Then you need to connect the UV sterilizer to the system. Firstly, insert the power cord, which is attached to the UV sterilizer, into the UV sterilizer connector and tighten the nut. In the end, you should connect the power adapter. Insert the DC head of the power adapter into the power port at the back of housing. Next, let's install the filters. Each filter is marked with a logo and an installation arrow. Next, insert the filter into its corresponding hole and align the arrow with the empty circle on the housing. 
Then, twist the filter with a little force forward in a clockwise direction for 90 degrees. Until the arrow is aligned with the solid circle on the housing. When the filter is fitted into place properly, you may hear a clicking sound. Now you have completed the installation of a filter. Lastly, let's start up the system. Turn on the cold water supply valve and check for leaks. Then, insert the plug of power adapter into the socket. After powering up, the system starts flushing automatically for 5 minutes. Next, turn on the RO faucet and allow it to run for 30 minutes. Until the front panel screen starts displaying a TDS reading. Before turning off the RO faucet, confirm the flushing is completed and there is no water leakage. To ensure safe usage of UV sterilizer, there's a mesh internal the UV sterilizer. You may experience reduced water flow if the mesh is blocked when you flush for the first time. You could solve this problem by following steps or contact us to get professional support. Firstly, shut off the feed water adapter of the system. Open the faucet and leave it open for 3-5 seconds to ensure a complete pressure rail race. Unplug power. Secondly, remove the lock clips on the both end of UV sterilizer. Then install the UV sterilizer reversely and tighten it by popping up lock clips. Open the faucet and flush for 5 minutes. When the flushing is completed, reinstall the UV sterilizer following the right direction. Congratulations! You have successfully installed the system. Please enjoy pure and crisp water with Waterdrop now.